I do want to be a good parent. I really care about being a good parent. I hope that I'll naturally just sort of evolve into a good parent over the years. <laughs> um, there's loads of stuff I feel passionate about as a parent. Mm. I mean, I would love my son to have minimal shame around certain things. That feels important to me. I would love him to be the first generation ever who can be, like, completely unembarrassed about having a queer parent. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, I would also particularly love him not to have shame around his body and eating and drinking. I feel so strongly about that. Hopefully I've brought him up so far to be sort of really joyful and curious about those things. Um, <laughs> the other day, uh, I was having an alcohol-free beer. I told you I was a geriatric millennial. <laughs> Um, and um, he said, can I try that? And I thought, actually, I can't see the harm in that. I don't think I actually like the f taste of beer until I was well into my 20s. Wow, he scolded it. <laughs> I didn't know a six-year-old could drink like that from a little glass bottle like that. <laughs> to prise it out of his hands. That's so nice. That is so delicious nice. That is so nice. That... <laughs> I've just spent the last year walking into places with a six-year-old who walks in and goes, have they got corona? <laughs> no. No, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. No. No, but he can read now, can he? So he'd be like, yes, they have. Yeah, they got it there. Why can't I have it? Sometimes they'll actually get the bottle and be like, why can't I have it? It hasn't got any alcohol, it's got less sugar than juice, hasn't even got any caffeine. Why can't I have it? And I find myself going, because it's not a good look for mummy. <laughs> I mentioned that uh, my human son loves my missus. He does. Um, no offence to her, but, I, you know, I think that's quite easily done. I think his heart is quite easily won. I think if you're prepared to have enough ideas of games to play, get him anything from that tat shop tiger, keep your language clean, get the odd round in. <laughs> He'll fall for you. The cats, however, have been much harder to impress. <laughs> I, I can't talk about this within my own home because I, I can't tell you how much she loves these cats. I'm going to say too much. <laughs> um, but actually, I'm just going to say it. I, I actually think the cats might be homophobic. <laughs> I've got loads of evidence. One of the cats likes jumping on the kitchen surfaces, licking all around, furring all around. Um, <laughs> really nice. Someone just going, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'd be careful to do that out loud in an audience this queer. <laughs> this is my edgiest bit in this crowd. Yeah, he jumps all over the kitchen surfaces where I do the cooking, and I was quite hard, hard. I think, you know, I was quite short. You know, I said to my missus, do you think there's any way we could get him not to do that? Fucking disgusting thing. And she was like, yeah, all right, you know, he's a cat, it's not a problem, we'll just discipline him, I'll buy a water spray can. And in fairness, she did. Um, so next time he jumped up there, I went to spray him, and she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, you don't, that's a spray, you know, it didn't sp actually spray. <laughs> <laughs> At least try mediation first. <laughs> so me, the human, has to go, Conrad, <laughs> please hop down. Incredibly, he didn't. <laughs> so I, I go to spray him, and she's like, whoa, 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 trigger happy. The next thing she made me do is hold the watering can out like that and just sort of shake it, just sort of gently show it to the cat. Pretty confident I heard the cat go... <clears throat> Then, and only then, am I allowed to spray the prick. You can imagine the catharsis. Shh. But it turns out she hadn't bought a normal water spray can, had she? She'd bought a mister for succulents. <laughs> so water did come out of it, but in a lovely gentle plume. <laughs> I swear to you, that cat went... <laughs> He's even better at sexy dancing than me. Which brings me on to my main evidence against them, actually. There's no delicate way of putting this, but both the cats watch us bonk, and they're not very encouraging. <laughs> Conrad the Kitchen Jumper watches like that. <laughs> I 
And Cleo, if anything, is worse. She somehow found a way of sort of watching like that. <laughs> and I was really letting this knock my confidence. But then, actually, in this instance, I realised I think I might need to take some responsibility because I thought about it, and actually, there's been an empathy fail, hasn't there? On my part. Um, because at the end of the day, they're cats, aren't they? <laughs> they're cats. And what cats thinking? If they're watching two women have sex, they're probably thinking, well, they are having a very thorough wash. <laughs> Surely that bit's done, at least. 